Okay, got a group of 5,000 steam engine here. We we're asked by a TV production company to produce a steam powered pump. So we've got the Gripner 5000, little water pump, gas tank and condenser unit. And I'm about to fire it up for the first time, see if we can get some joy out of it. So I just need to gas up. I've already filled the gas tank, but I'm going to put a bit of extra in so you guys how easy it is. You've got a gas tank, small little valve on there. It's just propane butane mix. All you do is push this down. Hold it down nice and steady for a good few seconds. She's got gas. So next thing we need to do, we need to fill the boiler with water, put some steam oil in the lubricator, yeah, fill up with water. Should see it coming up on the water gauge pretty soon. Here it comes. Got a good level of water in there, you can see it in that water gauge. Then we're on to the lubricator. Oh yeah, that's well done. Good thick steam oil. I'm going to oil the model with the steam oil as well. You can use a thinner oil, but I'm going to use steam oil. Nice and thick. Get this really full. Helps with pushing it around. This engine's brand new, it's never really been run on steam. I haven't actually set these burners up yet, so this will be the first time we see if we can get it running. Try again. Just to gas up a little bit, get a good burn on the go. It's all good. Start oiling up the other parts. So we're going to oil up all the mechanical pieces, all the bearings, pretty much anything that moves. Get a good bit of oil on there. It's got ball race bearings on it. I don't think it can do any harm. Regulator's obviously leaking, we'll have to do something about that. Let's see if we can coax this thing into working. Now we've got a bit of pressure behind it. Safety valve's blowing off, let's give it a go. It's almost there. There we go. Start it up. A little unorthodox, but you got the pump running on a steam engine, pumping water out of this bucket and back in again. So there's this little Gruppner engine going beautifully. Okay, given it its first run, just going to clean out this lubricator, refill that back up again, just drain that out. See that draining away. See now it's just got the oil coming through. Funnily enough, you can see the steam oil's changed colour. That's good, that means the steam's been in there, moving it around, doing its thing. So I refill the lubricator. Got a really good level of water in there again. I've got a slightly bigger bucket this time, so hopefully it can pump a bit more water. Okay, we're up to pressure again. Regulate's still leaking a bit, but it kind of calmed down a little bit by the time we finished yesterday, so hopefully it'll calm down again. Let's give it a go. See if we can get it going again. 
almost there. A little bit of moisture in the cylinders. Should clear in a second. It has actually got cylinder drains this little engine, but I haven't used it yet. pressure up now, we're going to give it another go. That's better. It's running about two bar. Condensate's cleared from these little cylinders, it's really flowing now. How's it going? You look better, this one, eh? That's a good flow of water. Good pressure. That is a good flow of water. Working a treat. It's really pumping now. in the boiler, runs through these pipes in through the engine, runs the engine, back out through the exhaust, through to the separator, which takes the oil and the water and all the rubbish out of the, uh, out of the steam, then the steam gets recycled back up the chimney, this separator gets nice and warm, keeps this gas tank nice and warm so it doesn't freeze up. And there's all your oil and all the other rubbish coming out the separator. In a boat, that would stop it going into the water. Just turn the gas off. You see your pressure starts to drop quite rapidly. So that engine uses up all that steam. Water level is still pretty good. And there you go. There's your pump system. Good little engine.